Hi guys, in the previous lecture we have covered diode LC circuit and we have found the voltage across capacitor, voltage across inductor and current flowing in the circuit by taking zero initial condition with initial condition and discharging LC circuit without source. In all the three cases we found what is the voltage across capacitor at a steady state and what is the peak inverse voltage of diode. Also we have seen there that diode will conduct only till pi conduction angle of diode is from 0 to pi so if i will ask you what is the conduction time then what what is the conduction time of diode see omega naught t is equal to pi so conduction time will come out to be pi by omega naught that is equal to pi under root lc okay so take a note and write down this the conduction time of diode in all the three curses will be pi under root lc got it now in this lecture we will start fourier series and we will see some function and we will find the fourier series of different waveform so what do you mean by fourier series fourier series is the representation of any non sinusoidal periodic function into sine or cosine waveform and it is represented like let us suppose a function ft having non sinusoidal but free periodic then we can represent that function ft in terms of fourier series ft is equal to a naught plus summation of n is equal to 1 to infinite a n cos n omega naught t plus b n sin n omega naught t okay where a naught a n b n are given as a naught is equal to 1 upon 2 pi integral of 2 pi ft dt where a n is equal to 2 upon 2 pi integral up to 2 pi ft cos n omega naught t d omega naught t and bn is equal to 2 upon 2 pi integral up to pi, uh, 2 pi ft sin n omega naught t d omega naught t now here one concept comes that is when ft is even means the function we are taking is even function that is f of t is equal to f of minus t then in this case a naught and a n is non-zero while bn is equal to zero Similarly, if ft is odd function that is f of t is equal to minus of f of minus t then we will get only bn we will we won't get a naught and an hence a naught and an is equal to 0 and bn is non-zero. So let us find the Fourier series of this waveform. See this waveform is denoted as v naught of t and v naught of t clearly we can see here that it is a periodic having time period 2 pi and it is also odd function okay so we have seen earlier that when v naught t is odd means we will get only bn while a naught and a n is equal to zero okay so v naught t is odd function means only bn will exist hence we can find vn like 2 upon 2 pi integral up to 2 pi and we will integrate this waveform in order to find pn so i divide this waveform from 0 to pi it is plus v and from pi to 2 pi it is minus v so from 0 to pi v sin n omega naught t d omega naught t plus pi to 2 pi it is minus v so minus v sin n omega naught t d omega naught t this is simply integration mathematics part so take v common it will be v upon pi and integration of sin omega naught n omega naught t will be minus cos n omega naught t upon n and it will integrate from 0 to pi Similarly, sin n omega naught t d omega naught t integrate cos n omega naught t upon n. Here minus minus will cancel out and it will be plus from pi to 2 pi. Take n common also, v upon n pi we will get and in this case I will get minus cos n pi minus of minus that is plus cos 0, cos 0 is 1, okay, plus cos 2 n pi minus cos n pi, okay, and we know that cos 2 n pi will always give the value 1 okay so 1 plus 1 will give 2 and 2 minus 2 cos n pi so take 2 common you will get 2 v upon n pi into 1 minus cos n pi got it so b n will come out to be 2 v upon n pi into 1 minus cos n pi now here take two cases first case is when n is even n is, in n is even means when n is equal to 2 4 6 8 and so on then cos n pi means take cos 2 pi to cos 2 pi will give you 1 cos 4 pi will give you 1 cos 6 pi will give you 1 cos 8 pi will give you 1 so cos n pi will be 1 when n is equal to even 
so when cos n pi will be 1 then bn is equal to 0 so for even harmonics we are not getting bn bn will be 0 now take n is equal to odd means when n is odd like when n is equal to 1 3 5 7 then cos n pi will be minus 1 and in this case bn i will get that is equal to 4v upon n pi so only odd harmonics will exist in this function v naught t so finally v naught t i can write summation of n is equal to only 1 3 5 that is odd harmonics 4 v upon n pi sin n omega naught t got it and we know that this is nothing but output voltage of inverter that's why we are finding the Fourier series of this function so that when i will teach you inverter then i can easily write the Fourier series that is v naught of t is equal to summation of n is equal to 1 3 5 to infinite 4 v upon n pi sin n omega naught now take another waveform similar to this like this take this waveform say this waveform xt and v naught t both are same only the difference is xt is shifted by some angle alpha right means if i will shift this v naught t by some angle alpha towards right then i will get xt so i can write xt like this xt is equal to v naught of t minus alpha i can write easily if i will find v naught of t minus alpha then i will get the waveform same like xt shift this waveform by some angle alpha then it will be like this got it so i can write xt is equal to v naught of t minus alpha so if i have to find the fourier series of this function xt then how will i find i know that v naught of t we have already found v naught of t is equal to summation of n is equal to 1 3 5 to infinite 4 v upon n pi sin n omega naught right so what will be the x of t x of t will be v naught of t minus alpha if i will shift this fourier series by some angle alpha then i will get x of t so shift this v naught of t by some angle alpha towards right that is equal to x of t is equal to summation of n is equal to 1 3 5 4 v upon n pi sin n omega naught t replace this omega naught t by omega naught t minus alpha so you will get sin n omega naught t minus n alpha so this is the fourier series of x of t this waveform is also important because this is nothing but this xt is nothing but waveform of source current in full wave rectifier so when we will uh, discuss the full wave rectifier then the waveform of source current you will get something like this so that time i can easily write x of t in fourier series like this okay so you have to remember these two fourier series so that you won't get problem in finding fourier series of source current in full wave rectifier as well as fourier series of output voltage in inverter got it now let us move to the another concept that in any power power electronic circuit you will get two types of load first one is the voltage stiff type of load and second is the current stiff type of load okay in voltage stiff type of load what you will get the waveform of i naught and v naught are similar in all the voltage stiff type of load suppose the voltage output voltage v naught is something like this then the output current i naught will be similar to v naught it will be same the waveform will be same only there is difference in magnitude got it so in this case example is r load and re type of load are known as voltage stick type of load and in this type of load you have to find power by taking rms voltage so for r load output power will be i rms square into r or v rms square upon r got it you have to take rms value of voltage and current Similarly for RE load, RE load is somehow like this, right? So suppose you have to find the output power across RE load, then you have to take RMS current while finding the power across R, that is I RMS square into R. And since E, E is DC, okay? So you have to take average current, remember this. So output power will be I RMS square into R plus E into I naught average. You have to take average current for finding power across E got it now the second type of load is the current stiff type of load that is in current stiff type of load i naught doesn't change suddenly means there must be the inductor present in the load whenever uh, you will get rl that is the inductive load then i naught will not change suddenly means the waveform of i naught and v naught are not same waveform of i naught and v naught are not similar 
also i not will not follow sine wave means we won't able to cal uh, calculate the rms value of current so in this type of load like in rl and rle type of load always calculate output power by taking average voltage and average current so output power will be v not average into i not average you have to keep these things in mind because whenever i will be dealing with the rectifier circuit then suppose i have to calculate the output power then first you should know whether it is voltage steep type of load or current steep type of load in voltage steep type of load you have to take rms voltage and current like in r load and in re load you have to take i not average while calculating power across e got it while in current steep type of load always output power will be v not average into i not average got it so these two point you have to keep in mind that's all about this lecture in the next lecture we will start rectifier and its classification so if you guys understood the concept then please like this video for new updates you can subscribe to this channel and for doubt solving you can join our facebook group thanks for watching this video